Hello YouTube, it's me Video Gamer, and this is the How to Draw Video Game Characters tutorial. And today I will be drawing Ezio, as I think it's pronounced. Uh, I'm not quite certain on this. Ezio, Ezio. Uh, supposedly from Assassin's Creed 2. I don't know much about the game, that's because I've never played it, but this character looks actually pretty cool. Got a lot of detail on it. It was actually requested by a user with the name of The Sashes. I don't know, maybe it's multiple users using one account. None of my concern. I'm going to go over your supplies right now. First, you're going to need a pencil with an eraser. And if you want to do more detail like I usually do, you're going to need a mechanical pencil. Then for your paper source, you can use sketchbook paper or copy paper. To color it, I like to use colored pencils. And that pretty much wraps up the supplies. Without further ado, let the drawing begin. Um, I can't clearly see the eyes on this source drawing I have. I don't even know if you see the eyes in the game. But, since I can't, I'm going to just start off with something to tell me where the eye is at. Like this. Come down with the nose. And then I'll start on the outline of the head. And the facial detail isn't all that noticeable, other than a few main features. And this hood kind of comes around like that. Just goes down across his shoulders. Draw the shadow line. Now, before I continue on with the detail, I'd like to get the basics of the body finished. And I'm just going to do the general outline here. And this doesn't look very good right now, but I'm not even close to being done with it, is why. I've got a lot of detail to do. And I think I'm going to continue on from here, just by putting on the bulk of the clothing and how much it would actually stick up off of the actual body. That's not going to be too hard. It's the detail that's got me worried. Alright, and this drawing looks really messy at the moment. That's because there's so many sketch lines in the way. But uh, what you should do is you should take your eraser and clean up the drawing a bit. That way it's easier for you to tell what you're doing. And this will also make it easier to define detail. The first thing that catches my eye is this necklace around this guy's neck. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the outline of the head that really defines how the light is hitting his face now I'm going to move on to the hood I'm going to finish that up with the details on the cloth make it kinda tight where it comes out and then just draw a whole bunch of lines to make it seem like it's very loose and then on this um, belt thing I guess I don't know just add in a little bit of pencil shading there for now this hand is actually in a glove so you gotta include that as a dark color and now that I've gotten all the pencil lines done, it's time to begin coloring the drawing. So I've gotten all my most of my colors ready. And I'm going to start off with the simplest color first, which would be the skin color. It's just a normal skin color. But with this, you need to even color into the shadow. So that way it kind of blends together. And his hand that isn't gloved. Uh, that wraps up the skin color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the red parts. And to do these red parts, what I think I'm going to do is start out with a sort of pinkish red color. To be exact, it's magenta. You just need to color in lightly on these spots. And now I'm going to put on a darker red for some shading. And just a little bit. You don't want to color in the entire thing with a dark red. 
And whenever you're coloring, uh, especially with colored pencils and this character with all the detail and stuff, since I'm not going over it in some sort of sharpie or something, you can actually lose your lines if you're not too careful with how you color. So this time, truly color inside the lines. And I'm going to take another red and almost finish up the color by adding in more of it. Now I'm going to take one last red and do the same thing I've been doing, but this time use this red to fill up the lighter red that you used as the base coat. Just real quickly, on the clothing, I'm going to add in some of this um, sienna color, I guess. It's kind of a lightish brown with yellow in it. Easy to replicate with yellow, brown, whatever other colors you might happen to have. Just color in kind of like this to make it seem like almost dirty cloth. Take a little bit of gray for the shading. Once again, be careful with the grays because they will mess up your lines. You're gonna take that same cyan color and use it on the pants. With that brown, actually darken in the creases of the clothing and then color in with the brown one last time to kind of smooth the color out. Then for the boots, it's kind of the same thing. You just need a slightly different brown. And in order to give this kind of that leather texture, you might have to go over it with a few different colors and just really go in over it rough. Just like this. And then for shading, take the darkest brown you have and shade it. And now to start on the clothing color, which is a really big problem because it's a gray. Just take your gray and go over it lightly, as lightly as you possibly can for the base coat. And do not press hard, just very lightly. The next step is to take a... It'd be better to use your pencil for this, especially the mechanical pencil, for the shading and the cloth wrinkles. And just do it lightly, because once again, you don't want to overwhelm your lines. And then some of the underlying capes and stuff don't seem like they have enough shading on their own. So what I'm going to do is take the pencil itself and just go over it to dull it down and to make it darker. It's looking really good. Now, some of the colors aren't exactly the correct shade that I'm going for. So what I've got to do is I've got to really start trying to get these colors darker. To do that, just go over it with the um, pencil. And here is my finished drawing of Ezio, as I'm hoping it's pronounced. Um, I'm really actually surprised that I was able to get it to look so similar to the actual source drawing that I had. Here it is again. Um, the amount of detail on this was just huge. I didn't even include all the detail. I really can't because it's very hard to replicate a 3D video game character and try and put it in some sort of 2D form. It's very difficult and I'm surprised I even got some of the textures right in the first place. All in all, I think this was a really great drawing. I would like to thank the user for requesting this and allowing me this opportunity to draw a character from a game I've never played. Anyway. You should subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and more videos to come. And that pretty much wraps up this set of how to draw video game characters tutorial. You should probably definitely go check out my channel for more how to draw video game character videos. Uh, check out my DeviantArt for more pictures and stuff. And also what you want to do is you want to make sure you definitely subscribe because I'll be opening up submissions for new requests soon. And I might only pick about five to three just depends, subscribe so you don't miss updates and stuff, and that's all I've got to say, so goodbye. Subscribe! Subscribe.